<laughs> I just wanted to see your face when you actually she says it and you were like pure shock and joy. We have tissues in here. Oh, I don't think we do, but I don't know if Vani. Hello, hello. <laughs> if I look like I've been crying, it's because I have been. It has been such an emotional roller coaster these past four months or so being pregnant. And anyway, we're close to the end here. This is going to be my baby watch video. And um, I thought it started out here. We just went for our 35 week ultrasound. And you're like, what in the world? There's no such thing as a 35 week ultrasound, right? Well, there was for me because basically they were worrying that the baby was small. They didn't even catch it or tell me about it until I asked about it. And then they quickly shipped me off to maternal fetal medicine. This is at 20, 24 weeks I got an ultrasound. And yeah, it was really small. And they made, they wanted me to come in two times a week for non-stress test and a biophysical profile, which is where they look at the cord and the placenta and the, the heart rate and all that stuff with the ultrasound. So I would be going in twice a week. Some of those would be the Hoyt to Harrisburg. And so that's what I've been dealing with for the past couple months. Um, it's been very, very... I mean, I can mostly put it behind me mm -hmm. until I know I have that ultrasound the next day and they're going to take the measurements, which they measure a baby every three weeks. That way they can see like the curve. Anyway, so we got one at 20 weeks like everybody does. And then at 20, at my 24 week appointment, I pointed it out that it said baby was within the normal range, but smaller than expected. And I asked the OB about it and he's like, oh, let me look that up. Like he didn't even, he wasn't even going to bring it up. But since I brought it up, then he shipped me off to maternal fetal medicine. So we got an ultrasound at 24 weeks. The baby was in like the third percentile, 28 weeks. Do we have one at 31? Yeah, that was that last one. Yeah, 28, 28 weeks. And then that one, the baby actually failed it because... They couldn't get it practice breathing. They couldn't get, catch it practice breathing because it was rolling around so much. Yeah. Anyway, it was... And going every week, it's so interesting because my baby was like breech and then it was sideways and then it was upright and then it was breech again, and then it, like all back and forth all over the place. 31 weeks was when it failed and you were yeah, along correct. and all that. Mm -hmm. And then I went back the next week and everything looked fine. They didn't take mm -hmm. measurements though, mm -hmm. but now they just took the measurements for the final time, 35 weeks. They're not going to do any more of those because the baby's just put on fat mostly at the end. Um, it's not like their bones are growing a lot more. I mean, they can look at the belly and stuff, which the belly was what was always measuring nice like only like mm -hmm. one week behind or whatever today they did all the measurements and stuff and the stomach was pretty much right on but when they averaged all the numbers together it was about in the sixth percentile which i always measured small with my other babies i don't know i don't know what to think about it all but i'm gonna take it as good news i was crying because i was just like the doctor said he has very low concern i don't need to come back for any more measurements and he said we are going to push the delivery date out to 39 weeks, which I think he thought was good news, which it was good news because before they wanted to do it at 37. 37 yeah. Um, and I've never gone into labor on my own. I was 41 weeks, one day with Ivani, 41 weeks, one day with Fletcher and 40 weeks and three days with my third Miller. So yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see how long this video goes, but the goal is to make it to 40 weeks. I would like to go even longer than that, but that might be reckless. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going well, in every week. Keep, yeah, you're, I'm going to be going is, in every week yeah. and they're going to be trying to find things wrong. Yeah, and the, the plan is for you to go in every week to get your fluid levels checked because history, that's what was low with, with Miller. Miller, no, Ivani and Miller. Well, Ivani, that was unnecessary. They just scared me into having her. I was a first time mom and they're like, the fluid levels aren't great and you're eight days overdue. Let's just have a baby. Like yeah. it wasn't even that bad, but Miller was. So I do take that seriously. Like if my fluid would start tanking, like that's a sign to have the baby, you know? But yeah, I'm so glad Josh go, went in with me for each of the times they measured. So like every three weeks, so I didn't have to be in there alone, but mm -hmm. I can't say you really helped me out that much this time. I was like <laughs> watching his face. Cause I was like, I'm not looking at the numbers this time. And he looked somber. He looked you were yawning. I was trying and not to give I it up. I have been dealing with <laughs> so much anxiety. Yeah, I've been dealing with so much anxiety. When I have anxiety, I just like yawn and yawn. And I have to go to the bathroom like every five seconds. And like, it's just, it's like a parallel universe. Anyway, and I thought, oh my word, now he's having anxiety. He's yawning. I was just tired. I'm sitting <laughs> here. Like, I'm falling asleep in the dark room. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, so, so. Yeah. I don't know if it's false hope, but it's hope. And I want to, I've mm -hmm. hated this pregnancy and I love being pregnant. Like I don't feel sick. I feel like cute at the end. I, I, I'm not uncomfortable. Like a lot of people complain about, I mean, this time Josh is like, you're not allowed to exercise, no exercising because 
Well, I was like, trying to do it. I was like, I is, you need there's to There's nothing relax. you can do. Yeah, there was nothing I'm trying you can to do. get you to relax so that way your body is not taking up energy that can be used for growing a baby. <laughs> so, so anyway, I've been doing Maybe like, I don't know very much, but I mean I mean I think it's been good for you. I've just been doing lots of walks. Like every day I try to do a walk. It's at least good for me mentally, that's for sure. And yeah, yeah. I need to find my birthing ball now and start sitting on that a lot. I think it's that popped. gets a baby. I think it's I just have to buy another one. I think so. I thought I might let somebody borrow it. I'm gonna. I, I'm vowing to enjoy these last weeks, however many weeks it is, of being pregnant and enjoy it. Like I have not been talking to my children about this baby. They pray for it every night, but I, I, I'm not looking. Like at the beginning, do you remember? Like, oh, and you have another brother or sister, this, and mm -hmm. we're gonna have to get. You know, you're gonna have to sit in the back, and the baby's gonna sit here, and like all this stuff. I cannot even talk about it with the kids. Like, anyway, so I know I covered a lot of information there, and I also left a lot out. Maybe I can do more about what I've learned through this process when the story's completely over. Hides, I don't want to speak too soon, you know, like, like I said, it could be false hope, but I had my friends praying for me today and um, every single prayer, I sent them four different points and all of them were answered except for the anxiety one, maybe. <laughs> but I was a little chattier today with the ultrasound tech. I tried to be a little yeah, more you cheerful. Did, you, did, you did really well. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so I'll see you. I, like I have a whole list of things I want to do now to prepare for the baby. I have a list and so I'll take you guys along and this video will end in a baby. <laughs> Hopefully this video is like four weeks long. So we'll yeah. see. <laughs> Don't skip to the end. Something you just learn to <laughs> really appreciate when you're big and pregnant or I'm sure postpartum too, I'll be so grateful is to have things brought right to your door. You just can't overstate the beauty of that. Our poor mothers who had to live like barbarians and had to go out to the store for everything, right? <laughs> anyway, my Thrive box just came in, but I am working with Thrive on today's video. So let me show you what I got here. Thrive is an online membership-based grocery store, so you can't shop there in person, but I love them because you can get the same things that you can get at other grocery stores just for way less. And I think this time I stocked up on a bunch of snacks and grab and go stuff because it's about to get really busy around here and I want to have things that we can easily grab. And I know that are also not the worst for my kids, you know, better for you snacks and stuff like that. I also got a, a couple other random things in here. That's what Thrive does. They have so many good products in so many different categories. I've been getting cleaning products on there and beauty items even. They have great snacks and non-perishables and pantry staples, so much stuff, so much stuff. Um, first of all, you guys, I've probably tried these before and if you haven't, you are nuts. They are so good. These are wisps. And I got the Parmesan cheese crisp version. So that is yummy. And then I also got these dark chocolate coconut bars. These I've never had before. It's the Unreal brand, but I've heard so many good things about them, and I am a coconut girly. I love coconut. Well, I had to try these. I am a sour gummy worm fiend right now. All I want is sour, sour, sour. Give me the sour stuff. I don't even like gummies, but right now, I guess I do just because I want the sour stuff, but I got the Lily's Sour Gummy Worms. And Quick Breakfast are the name of the game around here, so we got some Birch Benders, their original mix. One of the cool things about Thrive is that if you find something at a better price somewhere else, they are good for it, they'll reimburse you, and yeah, you'll never pay more going through Thrive. Most, every time you'll pay less. This is a staple I get pretty much every time. Organic Fruit Circles, and I think they come in a bunch of different flavors. This box is Super Berry, Strawberry, and Mango Tango. Chomsticks, I've been trying to get more protein in my diet. Okay, I've never had this, but I've heard good things. Malden Sea Salt, and it's the flakes, so I can make pretty drinks with this, or top, you know, baked goods and stuff with flaky sea salt, so I'm excited about that. This is so random, but like I said, I get cleaning products from them. This is the Rosie's Toilet Bowl Cleaner. My daughter helps me clean the bathrooms. This doesn't have like the harsh chemicals like the traditional brands do. And I think I cut like over 30% off when I ordered this because it was on sale or something. If you decide you want to sign up for Thrive, you can do their monthly membership, which is $12 a month, or what I recommend is doing the whole year all at one shot. And that is only $5 a month. Another reason that I love um, ordering through Thrive is that I'm, I try to do better, but then I go to the grocery store and the, you know, they have the Pringles and the Cheez-Its and all the stuff, you know? So I feel like when I'm on Thrive's website, I see things I might not normally see, you know, at the regular grocery store. And also I love how you can sift through everything by Google searching, you know, you can't Google search a grocery store. So yeah, if you have like a specific dietary need or anything, you can type in gluten-free or plant-based or whatever you want. Uh, this is a quick lunch for me. I love Rayo's and they have Italian wedding soup. So we're gonna try that. I make my own version that is just so good. So we'll see if this, 
is even half as good as the homemade stuff, but I'm pretty hopeful. I've tried some of their other soups and they're all really good. So, so yeah, there's some of the things I got. I saved on everything at least a dollar or two, some of them a lot more than that. And so yeah, it definitely pays itself off very easily. You don't have to worry about that. So click the link in the description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash Megan Fox Unlock to get 30% off of your first box plus a free gift valued up to $60. Again, you'll be prompted to select either monthly or yearly billing. And I would say if you've been trying to buy more natural organic products already, you definitely want to sign up for the full year because it'll definitely be worth it for you. So yeah, thank you Thrive for working with me on this video. I love when their box comes. It's like, yay, there's a Thrive box at the door. And something I found on their website this last time I was ordering is their deals tab. If you click on their deals, you can see all the deals that are happening at the moment. And one, it's great. You can find things you're already going to buy at a great discount. Then you can also discover new products. And what's cool is they're reviewed by people so you can see what other people thought of them as well. Okay, I feel like we have to taste test something here. Let's try these Unreal Dark Chocolate Coconut Bars because I am dying to know if they taste anything like an Almond Joy. Look at that. Oh, cute. Mm. They taste exactly right. They don't taste like they have weird things in them or anything like that, you know, black beans or something. <laughs> Dark chocolate cassava syrup. Mm. Yum. Good morning. <laughs> it has been a busy morning. We had German pancake for breakfast this morning, one of my favorites. I have been eating like two breakfasts lately, one <laughs> in the morning, like before the kids get up. I just heated up some of those Sam's Club egg bites. They're so good. Baking spinach, gruyere, whatever it is, so delicious. And then later on, I made German pancakes for the boys. And so I had some of that too. It's just, it's a good way to get a lot of protein in because I've been trying to eat and focus a lot on protein. And breakfast is just easy with all the eggs and the meat that go into breakfast time. And German pancakes are not just pancakes, they're mostly egg. So it's another great source of protein. But anyway, last night was nuts. 10.30, I was just falling asleep. And all of a sudden, I heard my four-year-old screaming, oh my goodness, all of a sudden I realized, wait, everything is completely pitch black. Oh, the electricity went out. So apparently his alarm clock and his little nightlight went out, I don't know, and somehow he noticed that quickly. Like it literally just happened. Um, so the whole house was up. Thank goodness it was only 10.30. But anyway, I was kind of annoyed because I was like, you can sleep in the dark. Like this is the perfect time for the electricity to go out. A tree had fallen because of the wind or whatever. Anyway, so we were all up pretty late last night. And so, um, yeah, the boys have been a little bit crankier this morning I thought but I still need to get some things done here and they're happily playing at the moment so I was like this is a good time I'm sitting here in the nursery which still needs some final touches we'll do that here in this video at some point but I want to look and take inventory of my size newborn zero to three month ish situation so I can see what I need to buy yet I might not need much at all although I feel like it's sacrilegious to make a little boy come into the world and wear all of his big brother's hand-me-downs so I definitely am going to be purchasing a few new things just on principle and also it's so fun to have some cute clothes I will use for like photos and stuff like that so regardless I will be buying a few things but oh my goodness I got some of the cutest little suits and stuff for Miller just two and a half years ago and so we'll be definitely using these again I like to have mostly practical outfits but then like you know this is a little bit more of a pain in the butt to change a diaper in but it's so sweet, so cute. So we're gonna have some of those too in here, I'm sure. Miller was a November baby and now this is gonna be a February baby, Lord willing. So the newborn and zero to three months should work out fine. But after that, it's gonna be completely flipped, uh, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, I hate this job. It's so emotional going through little baby clothes, putting things away forever, donating things, um, reselling things. It's sad. <laughs> I hate this, I do. It's just like a reminder that your kids are growing up and there's no going back, which Josh is like, why would you ever want to go back? I'm like, exactly. That's true, but still. Look at the little overalls. <laughs> I'm sure these will not work for this baby because let's look, yeah, six to 12 months. Oh, maybe, maybe like a fall. 
Depends. These are pretty size forgiving, I think. Anyway, that's what's on my list. I have a lot of like ribbed, comfy, cozy things, but you know, some of them are gonna be showing some wear and stuff, so I have to decide how much wear I'm willing to tolerate. Okay, here's the outfits, mostly neutrals and navies. Um, some of these have been worn by all my kids. This one here, Ivani wore it, Fletcher wore it, Miller wore it, and now we're passing it on again. Anyway, so this is 10 little outfits, plus there's a few extra little onesies here that don't have pants with them. A uh, funny thing, my babies wear hardly anything for the first couple weeks of their life. I just swaddle them up, and it makes it so much easier when you're trying to change their diapers all the time, and I just think that they're not used to clothes. It feels kind of cruel to put them in clothes right off the bat, so they won't be wearing a ton of clothes the first week or two, just for their sake and mine, I like to say. And then here's the zero to three pile, and I'm going to put them over here in this box so they're quick easy access i can pull them out when i'm ready for them my babies are usually a newborn for a while but always they go out of it too soon and then i want to cry but i will put all the newborn stuff into this top drawer and then the bottom two drawers have swaddles and stuff in that i should probably go through and organize take out the worn ones wash everything good um, so that needs to happen yet too, but that's gonna be another day. I just wanted to take inventory quickly. Oh my goodness, look back here. Here's my birth plan, which has been the same for pretty much all my kids, but this is all gonna have to happen another day because I just wanted to take inventory of what I had so I could see what I need to order. These items are just gonna be thrown out. I'm not even donating them. They have like wear on the neck, so we're just gonna throw them out, and then I have three to six months here and nine months as well, so I'm good to go for a little bit. Obviously, the seasons might not completely match up. Also, we were just at um, Sam's Club, so over here I need to store all these boxes of diapers. We really stocked up. Currently, my just turned two year old is not potty trained. I'm kind of trying with him, but I'm not trying super hard because I'm just afraid he's gonna relapse and I'm trying to take his lead. So he sits on the potty every day. He rarely ever has success, but I'm not having him ar running around in underwear or anything right now. So we'll see. It's. I've always potty trained my babies right on two, but then it takes like six months to make it happen. I feel like it's not a very mother-friendly method of doing it. Um, so I don't know. We're just trying it and seeing how it goes, different days. And if he ever has success, then we'll hit it a little harder. Ooh, which reminds me, I need to order another birthing bowl. I want to be sitting on that a lot more. I use it for exercising too, so it's not like I'm just going to use it for the next, you know, couple weeks here. But our old one popped because the kids like to play with it and I was like, I'll just borrow one from my friend. She's a doula. But Josh is like, just get another one. We use them so much for other things and I'm like, okay, fine, I will. So I need to find which one I ordered last time. I loved it. I'll link it below. Love that brand. I'll just order it again and I'll probably do it in black again just because the wear and tear on a black one is not so visible. Oh, I need to order a baby calendar. Okay, I should probably make a little bit more of a detailed list here now that I see what I have. And anyway, it's just a reminder to me that babies really don't take a lot, especially number four. I can use the same wrap I had before. I'm still trying to decide about a stroller. I really need a better double stroller because my fill and Ted's, which while I love it, it's very tight in the back seat for the toddler, whoever's going to be sitting in the back. And Miller is two years old and it's pretty squishy back there. So I'm thinking about getting like a city select or something and then it's like do i want to buy it new probably not but at the same time you can almost buy it new use it and then resell it and get your money back so i don't know what's going to happen with that yet i'm still thinking about it but um, maybe that will show up in this video and we'll have made a decision i don't know we'll see have you ever seen anything so i don't know nostalgic this is josh's baby book we were both the oldest so our mothers did very good at documenting our lives and this is mine oh my word so fun yeah so fun to look back and see they really gave baby food to their babies pretty early on back in the day which is kind of fascinating she even has a list of all the baby gifts that i got so it's super fun so yeah i definitely want to do a baby calendar for each of mine <laughs> Okay, 
so I took a little break from the nursery stuff and I had to run to Walmart for a few things and I'm back. It is still winter here and I leave up my Christmas winter decor for a long time and so I did put the Christmas tree away in the manger scene but I still have winter up and people are going to be coming in and out here pretty soon a lot. You know, visiting, helping out, all of that. Hopefully not too much visiting. I mean, it is winter here in Pennsylvania, sicknesses, whatever. But I thought I want to do something with our beautiful maternity photo shoot we did. And so I decided this is the perfect place to put those very wintry looking pictures. So I got two prints at Walmart, even though my photographer said don't get them at Walmart. They're not a great quality. I was just like, they're a good price and I can pick them up the next day. So we're going to see here how this looks. Oh my, Ew, is it clear? It didn't give me any warnings about it not being clear. Let's see here. Okay, they are not crystal clear. So she was right. She said use MPix, not Staples or Walmart. I mean, it's still really good for, you know, the price that Walmart charges, but, and how fast it came. Um, but if you look really close, you can see it's not like, this one's better than the other one. I mean, I still really love it. It looks artsy. So I'm gonna put these in and they're only gonna be up for like two months until I put up my spring slash regular decor. So I didn't wanna spend a ton of money. Yeah, I'm gonna switch these out from these generic wintry trees for a precious little photo session. My photographer, Christy Stoner, includes a maternity session with the baby photo shoot, like a package deal if you want. So it was just like a quick half an hour thing. Um, and I have a whole video of how I sewed my brown velvet dress for it. If you missed that one, go watch it. It's not just about sewing. I think anybody could enjoy it who just enjoys mom life content and how you get projects done at the same time while mothering children. <laughs> anyway, enough blabbing. Let me switch these out quickly. I'll tell you what, let's do some YouTube magic here. Done. I think it looks good. These frames are actually from Ikea and there's so many different ways you can like reconfigure them. But here it is, pretty simple. Josh made this table for me using legs we found in the basement of our house. Here's the one picture. This is actually pretty clear. And this one, I'm clear because that's who the camera was focusing on and then Fletcher's looks a little blurry. Like it is the style of the picture, but maybe I should have just chose a different picture if I was gonna have it here. But I think it looks good together. I love the colors and the winter theme. Um, and like I said, it's only gonna be up for a little bit. I don't know, I need to add a candle here or something yet for some homey entryway light. What? My blue-eyed, brown-haired girl. What were you listening to? I was just nothing. Giving my wife a kiss. Is that a song? I, well, if it is, I made it up right now. You're gonna drink that soda? Going to. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. Wait, it's a soda now. Oh, it's not soda, but... You make so much fun of me of, for drinking the stuff. Basically water and flavoring, but oh, it's not delightful. natural flavoring. Black it says lemonade. natural flavors. Yeah, but natural flavors aren't natural. They're natural. If it says natural, it's natural. Mm -mm. Do you want it? Oh, I love to drink it. tastes it. too much like grape soda. What? I thought it was oh. more like lemonade. Oh, <sighs> it's delightful. It tastes like grape soda. Love it. It's the How best is flavor it? ever. There's no sugar or sweetener of anything in there? It's natural. Natural flavors. <laughs> it's not natural. That's nah, natural. Natural mm. means natural. That's what they want you to think. It's like my nature. It's a whole conspiracy. <laughs> oh man, I feel like I'm on vacation. Um, something I've been trying to do better at is to take it a little slower here, especially at the end, and just like manage my stress a little more, and just not be always go 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 go. Which, that's my middle name. <laughs> you know, I'm always going and I enjoy being busy and I think sometimes I cope with stress by being busier yet But anyway all that to say it's Saturday afternoon. Josh is home. He's cleaning out the garage It's like his monthly Garage clean out day and the kids are taking naps because we'll probably be out late this evening I think we're playing pickleball with my brother-in-law and sister. I don't know how much pickleballing I'll be doing I would love to um but I don't want to be doing too many crazy lunges and stuff like that. So we'll see. But I'm leaving here to head to the thrift store. I'll probably just be there. I mean, how, however long I fancy, I was going to drink my drink and whatever, but I'm not into those Waterloo things that he gets at Sam's Club. Um, I'd rather just drink my ice water here. Anyway, so I found Kristen Hoffman on YouTube and she just gives you the thrifting itch. And I've been decluttering all the month of November, December, January, and so... I want to see what other people have decluttered in their homes and see what they have. And so I'm going to a thrift store that's specifically known for like the grandma stuff. Like it's not like the trendy Target outlet cast offs. This is like old vintagey things. I just want to see what they have. It's not an antique store by any means, but they will have a lot more of those like 
old items if you know what I mean so I don't know I'm just in the mood to do that this is so rare for me because I give myself three hours off a week Sunday afternoons from 2 to 5 I chill sometimes there's other times throughout the week but very very rarely like sometimes I take a bubble bath in the evening or something but to take up an afternoon of editing time computer work time um, that's normally what I do when my kids go down for naps all housework stops all that stuff and I work on my business and everything I'm not doing that today. My video got turned in yesterday and I'm gonna go thrifting. I don't know how what this has to do with baby watching really, except for the fact that I'm trying to slow down a little bit and trying to do things that bring me joy. <sighs> I'm excited, so we'll see if we find anything. Okay, clearly I need to start my own thrift store because <laughs> this was not a successful day. I found myself very grumpy and grouchy. I don't know what the prices are like in your area. I mean, I did have fun browsing around. I browsed around for a good solid hour, looking through almost every section, but the prices that were basically common sense to me were the china, the housewares, that kind of thing. And then as I got into the rest of the space, it was just like, wow, yeah. <laughs> I, I would love to be that person who buys everything secondhand. But honestly, it doesn't even always make financial sense. Like some of these things were priced kind of crazy and there was not that much in stock. It was actually very packed, a lot of people there. And I thought this is the best time of the year to thrift. You know, everybody's just been donating things. They've decluttered. I seriously, I sadly left with absolutely nothing, even though I had a pretty long list of things I was keeping my eye out for. Anyway, my sister-in-law has a thrift shop called Phil Fiddle Leaf Co. And it's on Instagram and she, for some reason she knows how to find the deals she knows how to find the good items I don't know what I'm doing but I did enjoy myself I was just like planning to give you guys a little haul here at the end and sadly there is no haul I had one thing in my cart for a while and then I ended up saying I'm not gonna wait in that long line I'm just gonna put it back and go home empty-handed so the thrifting queen said of me was not alive and well today so I just got back from my 37 week NST, basically they put you on a monitor to see if the baby's happy inside and they just check the heart rate and the different accelerations when they're moving. And I was like really full of anxiety about the whole thing. I don't know why, sometimes it just hits me and I was just like praying silently the whole way there. And, and often what happens when I go for these non-stress tests is the baby will kick the whole way to the doctor and then we'll get there and it wants to sleep. And today it was still kicking when they put him on the monitor and we got all of like the accelerations and it was just moving so much right at the beginning in like the first 10 minutes and then the last 10 minutes he was sleeping the whole time i'm like we just so caught it in time so that i didn't have to fail i hate those non-stress tests they feel like very much like making your child go through the circus or something like they basically have to be a performer and do the right thing at the right time while you're on this monitor for 20 minutes and if it doesn't happen then they make you go to the hospital or like it's just so stressful and I don't really believe <laughs> don't really believe fully in their effect. But anyway, it was such answer to prayer. And then I got to talk to the OBGYN and she said that um, just don't go past 41 weeks. So she would be willing to let me go to 40 weeks. I don't know, like what she said was encouraging. But now I'm like, you know, because earlier they keep saying they want to induce me early and stuff. But now I'm still like I've got every prayer answered that I wanted to. And I'm like praising God. I'm like thank you so much but i feel guilty for taking comfort in worldly medicines diagnose you know when they give me good news i am like why is that giving me a sense of security like i should be getting my trust from god like i should be getting i should be having my faith and my trust in god not like in the medical practice so much and like why can't i just feel peace from god instead of like these doctors and stuff instead you know i feel terror when they tell me things i don't want to hear and then i feel relief of some kind when they tell me what I do want to hear it's like it's all hinged on this medical world and like life is truly in God's hands and I don't know I just feel like a weak Christian sometimes or like I don't know I can't trust my emotions right now I know I'm gonna watch this back later and be like it's pregnancy hormones too Megan just be kind to yourself stop thinking that's what I'm trying to do like stop thinking so much and do the right thing even if you don't always feel like it you know try to squash I saw a quote on Instagram yesterday that said, when you are worrying about that bad things, you're literally meditating on untruths because it's worry, you know? <sighs> anyway, so great news from the doctor. How much, like what bucket do I wanna put that in? Like I'm gonna try to take solace in it and be like, look, God answered my prayer, take it, enjoy it. 
and move on push the anxiety down but i did get an order in the mail of some of the things i got for the baby this is going to be his little stuffed animal oh my word it's like a little ox highland cow type of thing here is the baby calendar that came i'll link this stuff all down below and i love to buy a little oversized beanie for winter babies i did this with miller too obviously it's it's an infant size but it's obviously huge on a newborn so i think that makes a really cute picture with a big scrunchy beanie and then i don't actually need new swaddles but i was like every baby deserves like some new ones so i got two new swaddles and these are the prints i'm really leaning into the whole checkered phase <laughs> i know when fletcher was being born it was like the mud cloth was everywhere um now we have and this is a cactus one i think I, I like the other one better but look this came from amazon but it's a small shop on amazon and i love how there is small shops on amazon now this one is from hard knock and again with the checks and it's just the softest i don't know if you can see the texture so yeah i need to throw this stuff in the wash as well oh no this is not the crib this is not the crib cover this is the other swaddle i got it's like more of a quilt oh my goodness love it love it well then where's my crib my fitted sheet hmm it's somewhere here yeah i have a lot of organizing to do i also took peanuts my friend gave me i'm not a real eat peanuts plain type of girl but i mixed them in with craisins raisins and valentine m&ms tis the season um and if you can find these they are dried sugared strawberries it doesn't say there's any sugar on them but they taste sweet so i'm sure they had to add some sugar because strawberries get kind of bitter I don't know but anyway you add this to your peanuts m&ms and raisins and craisins and it tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry with peanuts added in and i don't know it's really really good i keep wanting to dive into this but we are going to wait and save this for postpartum and i need to organize a little snack basket for that here's the crib sheet you can see why i got confused again it's the same color and pattern
Okay, here's the finished nursery before I actually stockpile this room with all the things we're gonna need for baby. I'm gonna put everything in here so it's sitting here ready to go. But I put the little sign up and then here is all of our drawers organized. I thought I'd show them to you just really quickly here. We do believe in pacifiers. I wean them at a year old on the dot, cold turkey. It's always worked great. Here are their, sh I don't do baby shoes, but I felt like I shouldn't throw them away yet. But I don't wear shoes on my babies till they're like walking. So I don't think these will get any use except my sister-in-law crocheted these. They're so adorable. So maybe for a photo op or something, but I don't know. I felt like I couldn't donate them yet. We'll keep them for this baby yet and then maybe pass them along. And then the little baby socks that I washed and paired up. And then over here we have all the beanies. It's excessive, I know, but I wear beanies on my babies for a very long time. I haven't packed my hospital bag yet, but this is going to go in there and I, I'll put several options in so I can, you know, play dress up if I want to. <laughs> you never know how you're going to feel. And then in here in this drawer is all the clothes. This is from newborn to zero to three months. They're all together here. So this is all the one pieces. Here's the outfits that I rolled together. So they're together. Again, I need to shop in here for my diaper bag that's going to the hospital. These are just onesies that need pants, and then here are the pants. So that is about how much clothing I have for this baby. Plenty, I think, honestly. And then this drawer is always my favorite. It's the swaddle drawer. And again, I'm gonna pick a couple of these out to take along to the hospital. These are burp claws, which they're coming handy. I never had really spitty babies, but um, we use them for various things, but I actually am very much a swaddle girl. I like having a swaddle for so many different things, not just to swaddle babies. They come in handy for so many other things. And then the bottom drawer, this is like more utilitarian. And here I have two wraps. I've always used this one, never even tried that one out yet. And this baby carrier I've never tried out either. So I've had it for all three babies and just never bothered to get it out just because I loved my sevens wrap so much. And these three here are car seat covers. I like to hide my baby when I go out in public. <laughs> so, you know, so hands stay away and all that. This I'm excited to try. And if I love it, I will be sharing it with you in the future possibly. It is a weighted swaddle. So we'll see how we like it. And then these are some more Velcro swaddles. We believe in swaddling our babies. They always love to be cuddled. We'll see about this one. So that's all those drawers. I did organize the closet here. There's not much in here. It's pretty much empty. Over here we have diapers and wipes for the next sizes. These are baby clothes that are brand new that I'm gonna either gift or possibly use for the next baby. There's some really precious little girl stuff in here that I'm not going to get to use. So I might just have to pass it along to a friend for a gift. Look at that dress, so pretty. Um, and then here's a diaper bag that I'm not using at the moment, so I have it hanging up there. We have a baby swing that I'm storing for now up here. And then here's all the quilts and stuff, the heavier blankets, I couldn't fit them in the dresser. So we'll be pulling some of those out here in a bit. Back here I have a humidifier, brand new, and my box that my very old school baby monitor comes in, but we rarely use a baby monitor unless we're on vacation because we're right here by the baby, you know? This is keepsakes, I need to still go through that. That's a project for another day though, I'm tired out. And you wanna keep some stain remover close by whenever you have a baby. <laughs> Down here is some extras and things that we'll be needing in the future. And I should probably move some of these things over to the chair. Like there's some things that in here that are postpartum for me. I think this little shelf is so cute, but there's a couple things that need batteries, including that clock. And then here's a sweet little crib, which I will be removing this, these things. Obviously they're just there to style and be cute for now. The baby Moses basket is over here, that'll go downstairs. And I just threw my bobby pillow in there. I do like that at the first, at the beginning when the babies are so small. And then over here we have two swaddles, kind of more for decor than anything. And then the next size is up. I can reach in and grab them when we are ready for them. And our very comfortable new glider swivel rocking chair. It does everything and um, very cozy and very plush. You can lay back in it and sleep if you want to. Also, let's just have a moment for this rug. I love it so much. I wish I had it in a different room in my house so I can enjoy it more, but maybe we'll move it after this last baby. Okay, so here's the nursery and now I need to move everything into here. That's baby equipment, that kind of thing. So it's all consolidated into one space. So here we go. And there we have it. So I'll just show you the few things I gathered. This is gonna be the hospital bag I need to pack yet. The diaper bag, isn't it so beautiful? I always have a link down below for Luli Bebe. Um, it's the brand that I love. Their bags are so sophisticated. You already saw my other color that I have. And I have a smaller white one as well. They're just all really pretty and super thought out inside. And then over here, Josh made this for Ivani six years ago when I had her. And I just have kept it all these years. This is the first 
toy they play with they lay there and like just like to watch the movement and the black and white contrast and everything and then as they get older we switch it out to you know brighter colored toys that are less aesthetic but we have those down in there um, and then here's the baby swing stuck in the closet here so just everything's all in one central location we have the baby car seat the baby car seat cover my birthing ball which i'll probably roll downstairs again let's be honest i sit on it all the time it's just like a great thing to do when you're working on anything I think I'm gonna call it good for today. I am tuckered out. Oh, hey, what are you doing? The hallway's still a mess behind me. I need to put away things that trash, just things that accumulated that needed to come out of here. You know, the cleaning bucket and all that stuff. So, oh, I think it took me about three hours and I am tuckered out. Okay, let me set the stage. It is six degrees outside. The fire is crackling. I have bone broth cooling on my counter that I had going overnight. I have some tomato soup here going in the crock pot, tomato bisque. Here's the pretty bone broth. And I have toasted cheese here ready to go. It's all covered in plastic wrap. Today is a sewing day. My friend is coming over. I'm so excited. Just, um, I was gonna have a big old play date and it didn't suit a lot of people. And anyway, it's just gonna be me and my friend. I cannot be more excited. We're having tomato soup and toasted cheese and deviled eggs, different things like that. And I have some of my sewing stuff out here on the table. I need to pull another table out so that we can both be cutting out clothes at the same time. So here's my fabric I have to work with. I'm not sure what I'm gonna cut out because once I cut it out, then I'm accountable to sew it. But this was an idea for a stretchy skirt that I could wear now while I'm still largely pregnant and then afterwards. Um, everything I sew today must fit afterwards because I may never be pregnant again. I'm not gonna sew something that I'm gonna wear for like a week or two or three. Um, and then I found both of these at the remnant section at the Mennonite Mall, a <laughs> good store actually it's called, it's a really big um, Mennonite store and they have tons of fabric and so I got, this is five yards so it's definitely enough for me and probably Ivani too. She said she loved it and she's so excited. So anyway, I'll put my vision here on the screen of what I wanna do and I'm gonna make the sleeves long and then I can hack them off after winter's over <laughs> if I want to, um, that's the plan. And also with the blue one here, but me and Ivani will probably have something matching out of this and then the blue one will be the inspo picture I just showed you and I'll put it on the screen here again. I don't know, I feel like these last couple weeks here I've had the urge to host as much as possible because I know I'm not gonna have the energy or the time or that, you know, it'll be spring till I come up probably. So <laughs> come up out of my hole. And yeah, if the kids are healthy, why not? Let's do something and I'm very glad it actually just suited one friend. It works out great. Driving it? Yeah. Eat shoe. Ah! <laughs> you have Elliot's shoes on, silly boy. Is that what you wanted to show Mama? Okay, I am 37 weeks and five days today. I just got back from an ultrasound where they just looked at the cord, blood flow, fluid, made sure the baby's heart rate was good and it was doing its practice breathing, all those little things. So basically more of my body than the baby technically. 
Um, and everything looked good, praise the Lord. I was feeling so sick on my stomach again about it. I get, I feel like that every Monday. And now I feel like I can plan my week. Like they didn't ship me over to the hospital. I just really wanna go full term, I really, really do. I don't know why, I just have it in my head that I can have a good labor, a natural labor, the longer I wait and the more I wait for my body to be ready for it. I don't know, anyway. The mental game has been a struggle, it really has. Anyway, I wanted to show you my two sewing projects and how they turned out. So here is the plaid skirt. It got perfect. Like, I am not good at sewing skirts. The waistbands are always really hard to get perfectly, um, and it got perfect. It is a little fitted on the booty area, but it's fine. I'm gonna be wearing this postpartum um, mostly, so it's fine. I, I probably won't wear this out and about right now. I can link this sweater. There's a slit just on this side for walkability. Um, and yeah, I think it's gonna fit pretty good once you know, we don't have all this going on. And this cropped sweater, I just love the neckline. It's a V-neck without being like super low. Okay, and then my other project worked out exactly like the vision. Here it is. I made it with long sleeves. I can hack them off, you know, in the summertime. But look at it. It got so good. Um, the belly situation looks a little funny, but I will be wearing this postpartum. And then the way I did this, if you guys can see, it has the two flaps. And then I'm going to make a slit right here. That way I can have nursing access. So technically the front has three bodices because we have this, this, and then there'll be the slit in the bottom one. And then I did double the back as well, just because it's a pretty, yeah, it's not the most sturdy rib knit. So I thought that would help with like underwear lines and stuff. So yeah, I think it got so good. The only thing is I may end up, once the belly's gone, I'll be able to see how I like this waistline. Like, is it a little low? I left it a little low because you can always hem it and make it higher. And that might be what I end up doing if once the belly's gone and I can see where my natural waist is and I decide that this needs to be turned up again. I'll just open the side seam up here on the side and hem it up like one more time the whole way around. But yeah, I cannot believe how good this dress turned out for how much I was just like randomly cutting with my friend there being distracted, all that. Yeah, so I hope I get a lot of use out of this dress and I may make another one or two depending on timing and if I can find some more fabric I like. I don't know. I'm hesitant to keep making them over and over if I don't know it's gonna work. Like I almost feel like I should test drive this one and then sew some in a couple months. I don't know, I'm more of a skirt shirt girl you guys always ask what do you do when you're like nursing and I just often just wear the shirt and the skirt and then I'll wear a pretty dress to church on Sunday and bring a bottle along um, or take the baby out to the van, something like that, feed him out there, which I won't be probably doing in the winter with the cold, but we all have to do what works for us, I guess. So anyway, I'm excited to wear this in a little bit. We tried to get this massage gun to work last night or the other night for Josh's shoulder. Um, just cause I thought it'd be kind of fun to, our friends gave it to us, but it doesn't work. Anyway, I don't know, we have to either figure out the directions or maybe it just never worked um, in the first place. So the bed is made though, so that's nice. <laughs> so my diaper bag straps came. If you have a diaper bag and you wanna jazz it up and make it feel more exciting, you don't really wanna get a new one, or maybe you do have a new one and you still want a strap for your shoulder, um, I have this diaper bag from Luli Bebe. Um, I will put the link down below for it. You can get 25% off, which is crazy. Um, but they sent me the olive green one and I was not I was planning to give it away and then I was like, I love it too much, I'm keeping it. But I ordered two different straps to see which one looks best with it. So you guys have to comment down below because I'm seriously torn. Which one looks better? They both have that green color in them, so they match. But I don't know which one I like better. Really hard. And I do have the diaper bag all packed and organized. Everything's in pouches, so this one here is Stuff for Mama. This here is toys for church for Miller. See, I have to have it all here in one. And then this here is diapers and wipes at the moment, but I'm gonna switch that out because I wanna sew a new pouch like I usually do. By the way, this diaper bag does come with stroller straps, two of these, and then it also has a shoulder strap. So I wouldn't actually need these pretty straps, but they're just more fun and they add personality and they're not very expensive at all. I'll link them below. They're from Amazon. They have so many colors. My pouches are also available on my website. I think we're running low in stock, but you guys love them every time I restock them. So anyway, it makes everything super easy and confined inside here. And I love this diaper bag because there's pouches in here for your bottles and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm 38 weeks right now and I wanted to give a little bit of an update. Um, my sister-in-law, Josh's sister, is due with a baby the same week as me. She's had her baby already and he's in the hospital waiting for surgery. Um, it's not my story to share, but it is 
very heavy on all of our hearts. Um, he's gonna make it and everything, but it's just gonna be a long, long road. It's just so hard. And my brain has been all over the place. My mental health has been not great through this pregnancy. And I feel like this is just adding to it. And I feel guilty for feeling this way because it's not me, it's her. I should, anyway, like I should feel so grateful I'm here, I'm home with my family. It's just a lot of emotions. It was so exciting when we found he was here, found out he was here, and now this. And I just think about them like every minute of the day practically, like, oh, they're in the hospital right now, and oh my goodness, he's probably getting poked and prodded and tested and anyway, and the surgeon, the surgery keeps getting pushed off. And when this video comes out, I'm sure little Elijah is still gonna need your prayers so you can keep praying for him and we just keep praying for a healthy baby for ourselves too. Hi Miller. Hold your kids close guys. How are you? What's up? Yeah. What are you doing? Playing baseball? Mama. You have a little bit of ketchup on your cheek. You wanna no. go wipe it off? No. No? no. Oh. <laughs>